Yeah. <laughs> uh, so sauerkraut and uh, what else is German? Uh, Rouladen. Did you take a uh, Rouladen? Did your mom make Rouladen? No, I never heard of it. It's like flank steak and you pound it up really thin and fill it with stuff and roll it. Oh. Those were awesome. Yeah. So today we have with us Joanne and we're so happy to have her at Art Resin. She's going to be handling our Pinterest page because she actually likes Pinterest. No one else here does. <laughs> I'm super excited to be part of the Art Resin crew though, for sure. And we're going to be doing a Mandela. And why are we doing Mandelas? Adult coloring books are huge. They're so beautiful and how do you preserve it? And Art Resin is a perfect, perfect way of... How do you know you've never even done it before? Well, because I just know. Okay. We have one done in marker and one done in pencil crayon. And this is just printed on computer paper. Earlier, we thought we'd try a couple of finishes first before we put the resin on. We coated it with Mod Podge. The marker obviously was not permanent because as soon as I put the Mod Podge on, look, it just bled everywhere. And the paper, it started to buckle. So Mod Podge may be not the best prep. So then we tried the clear coat spray, and this is much better. Nothing bled, and there's no buckling as well. And then in an ideal world, the naked one is gonna be the best. So we're gonna resin this, and then tomorrow we'll see what the results are. Okay, so you want to mount it? Yeah. yeah, so we found these awesome um, canvas boards, so we're just gonna cut this out and then glue it onto the canvas board. I so, like that the board's already white too, because yeah. again, sometimes the paper gets a bit translucent with the resin. It could look brown if you were doing it on wood, right? Mm-hmm, that's right, good point. So now we have these blocks. I mean, we're just gonna start getting ready to art resin now. Yes. Good, and then here's a level for you. Okay. So we're level, the next step is some math. Uh -oh. So, I know, it seems like most people that buy art resin don't like math. Right. But we have a calculator on artresin.com at the very bottom. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so you just type in your dimensions. You just think of everything. So yeah. yeah, well, um, no, to make it easy, let's just say this is two square feet. Okay. So you can put on some gloves. Okay, will do. And it doesn't matter what order you put them in, you can put in hardener first or resin. Just stir the heck out of it. Alrighty. And scrape the sides and bottom. Why do you scrape the sides and bottom? If you don't scrape from the sides and bottom and then you pour, you're going to get unmixed resin and hardener that's stuck to the side of the measuring cup. Did I win? She's great. <laughs> and three minutes, right? Yep. You're going to speed this part up, right? All right. <laughs> this is so fun. Right, and now we're ready to pour? Just pour it on. Here we go. I'm kind of nervous. It's really nice to work with. It's got a nice, like, honey or molasses kind of consistency. And do you smell it? Do I smell it? Mm -hmm. No. Your nose work normally? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> I don't smell anything. Awesome. So your final stage is you get to play with fire. All right. Yeah. This yes. is a propane torch head. So we're going to be selling these soon. These are our normal torches. They're butane. They're great and they're good for small projects. But once you get into art resin, and if you're doing a really big piece, like this is just really, really nice. So I'll give it to you. This feels a bit more badass. Yeah, oh. push the button. Oh, it's like ironing, just do everything once and then keep it moving. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, it's like magic. It is like magic. Wow. So the last step is we always keep toothpicks around. So just look on an angle and then you can see if there's a hair oh, or yeah. a piece oh, of dust. Right? It's like glass, it's beautiful. Oh, there is, there's something here. <gasps> <laughs> so last step for the third time, let's cover them up. Just protect it from dust and hair while it cures overnight. That was fun, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, next time I'll try it on my own. See how uh, okay. well I do. Great. So about that sauerkraut. Yeah, <laughs> sauerkraut, we're <laughs> yeah. Do I have any broccoli in my teeth? Your two front teeth are very large. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been told that before. <laughs> not bad large, it's just a lot of surface area. Hey, yeah. everyone. <laughs> We're back. For the big reveal. Yeah, these look awesome. I'm so uh, happy with the results that we got. The one where we did nothing. That one actually looks the best in my opinion, which is awesome because then it's less work. Yep, I agree. If you do use marker though, make sure you use a permanent marker. So don't need to seal it. Just use good quality marker and good quality paper. Yeah. Okay, and then this one, we took it out of a coloring book and you can see the other side a tiny bit. So maybe use only one-sided pieces. Well, you have another solution for that as well, right? Absolutely. Instead of using a coloring book. Yeah, there's a great resource where you can download these Mandela's Monday, mandela.com. You can just print it off on your computer and you don't have to worry about uh, there being anything on the other side. And you can also choose a good quality paper. Yeah. It's your art, so you want it to be perfect. Absolutely. I had fun. I had fun. This is my first project. But you've already been talking about all the other things you want to resin. Oh, yeah. A whole Pinterest board. That's right. Just for ideas. So follow us on Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. And come on over and <laughs> have a, a coffee.
coffee. <laughs> I feel kind of weird about my teeth now.